Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to our next part of Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Now give me a second to get everything set up. Also, the dog that, that barks, I mean, not barks, the dog that coughs is in my room. She seems to be sleeping fine, so. but I might have to mute if she has issues. See, so yeah, off screen, I did a bunch of these in order to get all the stuff. There's only two more left, and then, but yeah, I'll do, continue to do those off screen. But you know that one where I had to assassinate that guy, and he was like begging for mercy and stuff? Well, I found out that if you just uh, stop when he says he wants to make a deal, you can just let him go. <laughs> and then, uh,. The people that hired you, the Liberation Front, send somebody to kill you because you betrayed them. So you still have to fight somebody, but... <laughs> so yeah. I could have made let him leave, but... We're, we're gonna stick with our timeline where he died. <laughs> okay, let's do Historic Data Recovery. Because we have to go back into that place that blew up. to be shut down after it was hit by a coral surge. I want to go there and survey the area. Even before the coral surge, that place had been all but abandoned. It's an old structure, dating far back into the colonization of Rubicon. There must be items of interest from throughout the planet's history there. As I'm sure you're aware, I have no resources with which to pay you. But I can propose an alternative. If you find any wrecks left by the PCA, you should try accessing them. Both the corporations and the Rubiconians are gathering data on PCA technology. Whatever you collect, I can exchange for credits and transfer the funds to you. Time to do some archaeology, then. I've taken a few liberties. Walter thinks you've gone on a geological survey. Thank you for doing this for me, Raven. Anything for the voice in my head. System activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. I've already located several wrecks that we should be able to recover data from. I'll send the marker data. Interesting that they're still in here. I'll exchange it for credits and send them to you later. Coral is able to conduct data and can influence digital equipment. The effects of the coral surge must have brought some of the wrecks back online. Let's see what we can find. It's this not even like like they're being controlled by Coral, is that why they're back up? Well. X 
data, Professor Nagai's log. Text data extracted from a wreck. The lost auto translation for a voice log recorded by Professor Nagai, the Rubicon Research Institute director. No, the coral tide is rising at an abnormal rate. This resonance is just some kind of mutation. Run the calculations. How much time do we have? 47 hours, 2 minutes, 16 seconds. We still have time. Deploy Ibis. According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of Ibis. This seems to be about the warning signs of the calamity, right before it struck. So they said deploy Ibis. So they, they do the fires of Ibis themselves? Mysterious. Mayan's writings, too. Text extracted from a wreck. This appears to come from the writings of Thum Damile. Dama Let me learn how to read. Comes from the writings of Thum Dalmayan, father of the Liberation Front. How long has it been since I first saw her voice? Fear not, she said, there will always be plenty. She told me this as I was imbibing Rubicon's blessings one fateful day. If I were you, I'd never allow this, I replied. And I was forever sh ashamed by my deceit. This seems to be a recording of Domayan, the Liberation Front's ideological leader. But this appears to be something exceptionally personal. Mists at the ceiling. <laughs> Yet the leader of the Liberation Front is also hearing voices in his head, maybe? Text data, Professor Nagai's log, too. Text data extracted from a wreck, auto translation, etc. Assistant number one has lost his mind. His research has utterly consumed him. Granted, there are many, there may be some logic to see pulse sensory augmentation of human subjects, but no ethical scholar would ever dare cross that point of no return. Mankind is driven mad by possibilities. What does Coral represent, if not sheer potential? This is about the first augmented humans. The same coral technology that created you. But without it, we never would have made contact. I'm not picking up any more data stores. If this outing has made you think about Rubicon's past or the nature of coral, then it was all worth it. Oh, mysterious. Say that a lot. I just barely get paid anything for it. Which is understandable. 
fact, if you use a lot of ammo on that mission, you can probably lose money. I think you can do that on a lot of missions, depending on what you use. We got ourselves a deal, Handler Walter. Michigan. So, Archibus met us halfway? I gave them the heavy warship fleet. In exchange, Balaam's in charge of putting down the beast. They also offered some top Vespers. <laughs> Guess they don't trust us. Better than nothing. I'll provide what support I can, too. Yeah, you're mad scientists. R.A.D. or whatever. And that hound of yours. Michigan. Don't underestimate 621. That hound always delivers. Any new messages? One new message. What kept you, 621? You're a famous mercenary now. Time to act like one. <sighs> this next mission's all or nothing. Make sure you attend the briefing. Whoa, what is this? It's usually the follow prototype part, shoulder weapon, stun needle launcher. Stun needle launcher. And I got the Archibus emblem. I assume what this is is that I can buy the other shoulder. Maybe. Maybe it was already on the left side, not even do it on the right side. No, I don't see it anywhere. I didn't know there were so many different boosters now. I can't use them because I'm a tank. Cool that they're there. Did unlock a new weapon, the... not the... This, this was the plasma rifle. Not to be confused with... Well, there's like a different plasma rifle. This is like a better... Or actually a faster firing plasma rifle. I still think I like lasers better, even if this does way more damage, so. Anyway, let's actually check out the new thing we got. There it is. Anti-worm weapon signed by... Archibus ADD neutralizes coral shielding with electrical interference by firing a massive electrified needle to create a path discharge at the point of impact. Interesting. Better equip that then, right? <laughs> it's only got 30 shots. So slightly about the same as the laser shoulders. Okay, I didn't miss anything in that mission. Well, yeah, I should note uh, what my character is is a fourth generation augmented human, but I think they were in like a <clears throat> not an accident, like a... They were in a battle and they got, like, heavily damaged. So they just, like, live in the robot, I guess. So... It's not necessarily that you are a robot, but you're, you you live in the in the mech. So you basically are. Um, I think... I only know this from some of the trailers. Like, they don't tell you any of this in-game. Uh, or maybe they do, and I just don't remember. Anyway. Destroy the Ice Worm. Destroy the Ice Worm, a massive weapon deployed by the Planetary Closure Administration. Archibus will provide a prototype weapon to ensure a breach of the Ice Worm's coral shielding. Yes, this, that's the stun launcher. <sighs> Okie dokie. That's the final part of the chapter. Listen up, 621. This will be a joint 
operation led by Balaam and Archibus. The briefing's about to start. I want you to attend. First, some background before we go into detail. The intercorporate ceasefire is now in effect and we will be carrying out coordinated attacks against the PCA. The targets are the enemy-occupied bases, the heavy warship fleet, and the recently activated... I'll cut to the chase. This is an all-out war against the PCA in theaters across Rubicon. And you all got the short end of the stick. You're here to take on the worst of our dirty work, hunting the beast of the ice field. Sure thing, Chief. Tell you what, I'll watch and let you know how badly that goes for us. Gun 5, you just volunteered yourself for the front line. Moving on, let's talk about how we're going to neutralize the Ice Worm's Coral Shield. You'll be dealing with a layered barrier made up of a primary and a secondary shield. Archibus will provide the means to break the first layer. The state-of-the-art stun needle launcher. Aim for the face, and it will deliver results, I assure you. What about the second layer? RAD's cooked up just the thing. A neat little toy we call the Overed Rail Cannon. If we divert the spaceport standby power to the ORC, it should hit hard enough, assuming we land the shot. You can leave that to me. I know a thing or two about sharpshooting. I'll oversee operations on the ground. A ragtag crew like this needs leadership. We could use some more suppressive fire. I'll send Chatty. That just leaves the question of who will be taking charge of the stun needle launcher. I know just the volunteer to go poke that beast with a stick. Gun 13, you get all that? Good, time for another field trip. We really got an all star cast for this. <laughs> That glowing part over there. I won't miss. Secondary shield down. Gun 13, the heads up for a direct hit. The freak actually did it. Did what? The bare minimum. This is just a fast hurdle. Miss that shot.
output at 80%. Output 95%. 100%. Watch out for friendly fire. Secondary shield down. It's all yours now, buddy. Something's wrong. Fall back, 621. We've underestimated this beast. My AC's compromised. Strong. Looks like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. This new shot will be my last. Really have to find its head poking out. better for just spamming all the attacks. So. I just gotta put the other thing on. Go. Let's just try it with tank for variety. <laughs> Might be bad though because I can't dodge the missiles as easy. Let's just restart here. Do, do, do. Only fire if I have an easy shot. Commence mission. Michigan will take command. Commencing operation with combined AC force as per the Bala Markibus agreement. Move out, maggots! Time to die! Act like a professional outfit and you might live. What does that creep think he is? I ain't here because I want to be.
I'll handle them. Wait, that's gonna split. No repair kits remaining. Get on the other side of it. Do it now. Where it? Let's head us over there. Okay. Maybe it wasn't loaded in time. die again. Okay. I don't actually think being a tank helps. So let's just go back to the fast tank so I can like maneuver better and then it was technically closer this time.
take care of the... Gotta take care of the drones first so that they don't mess with my targeting. Hopefully Chatty Stick doesn't leave me. Curse. Run, run, run. a second later. Waited until then. Got thirteen. Looks like the beast goes on the defensive when it feels cornered. Just so happens the red guns have a saying for this. You beg for your mother, we'll give you another. Dang, I was hoping that angle would work.
blast will contaminate the area. Get out of... <sighs> Coral voices. Lost again. Raven. There's something I have to tell you. The Coral... It's my family. My brothers and sisters. I am but a single wave. Born from the Coral Tide. A Rubiconian without a body. No one even knew I was there for such a long time. Raven, you're the only one who... Fire in the coral. Cleared mission. Destroy the ice worm. Got good pay from it. Not that I ever really need money. I got like millions. The temporary alliance between the Archivist and Balaam groups turned the tide of war. Devastating the Planetary Closure Administration forces and exiling them from Rubicon. Though it was the Ice Worm mission, led by Balaam, that dealt the decisive blow, Archivists, through their own engagements with the PCA, augmented their strength with seized weaponry. The balance of power was broken, the scales tipped in Archivists' favor, and the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. With the loss of their common enemy, the rival factions' war for the Coral abruptly reignited. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. Augmented Human, C4621. Entering standard mode. Two new messages. Doing okay, 621. I'd wanted to let you rest some more, but the corpse are on the move already. With the PCA gone, it's back to work. Getting to where the coral's gathering. Do you remember the survey you carried out at Xylem? My friend analyzed the data learned about a massive facility under the central ice field. Watch point Alpha. Turns out that the ice worm was defending the entrance to that place. It's time to let ourselves in. Raven, there's something you need to know. That friend Walter mentioned. The comms database has no record of the conversation he just told you about. This isn't about just finding the cool, Raven. He's after something more, and he's using you to do it. Here on Rubicon. Registration number RB23. Oh, do I get to do more? Raven, your records have been updated. A-rank virtual encounters are now available in the okay, arena. arena time. May these encounters further guide your technique. More mercenary data in the arena. New parts are available for purchase. It's been a while. Is this a different linear rifle? I'll buy that to try it out. 
Then we have a machine gun. And a ha another bigger handgun. And a burst handgun. We got the little gem bazooka. The jamming bomb launcher. So it they will it shuts off their lock on capabilities. Oh, another laser rifle. This one would be stronger. Single barrel laser rifle design by Arcubus ADD. Fundamental performance has been improved in order to aid the efforts against the Planetary Closure Administration. It can be charged to amplify its power. Yeah, that might be our new weapon. Let's buy one of those. We got the laser shotgun. Which I think we already had. Stun baton. Explosive thrower. Spreader scatters a spray of compact explosives to devastate the area ahead of the user. I'll buy it just to try it. Another linear rifle. Let's buy that just for testing purposes. And then we want to go down here and buy the mega laser for this arm as well. stuff we can test now. You see, first, let's bring out the tank again. Let's equip some new stuff. So, this thing is actually slightly better than the laser, although the lasers are really good at not missing, so I'll keep those. But let's try the better laser. It's much less rounds, but damage is much higher. In fact, the damage nine still only about half as strong as the shoulder ones. Let's try out the new laser tank. So did I miss secrets in there? No, no secrets there. Okay, back to the top and do our usual test fight. New lasers are direct upgrade. Very good. First, go back to the parts shop because I didn't. Sh I only checked the weapons. It's a new head. Retrofitted head part developed by Balaam. This high-end model is a strong performer with a hefty energy footprint. It features an intimidating spider eye design, chosen to suit the tastes of the Red Guns Command. Interesting.
Then there's this one, heavyweight head part. I still like the head we have better though. This one's new. Okay, this this says gives more health than the other part. Let's buy that for the tank. Here, this one. Good heavyweight arms. I like ones that are accurate with weapons, though. So I'm kind of stick with the ones we have. Any new legs? Actually, I think these are the new legs I started on here. Cool, but ooh, new four legs. Tetrapod, tetrapod leg option developed by Balaam. The design division was all but held at gunpoint to produce a model that satisfied the Red Gun's demand for a highly mobile AC platform, also capable of supporting heavy weapon. Guess I'll buy that and maybe upgrade my other thing. Got new. Okay, this thing has really high thrust. Which I can't. Oh, I'll check what those are. When I get to a different thing, it's this thing's this thing's very good at long range, but meh, the others. I'll buy it just so we have them all. Let me have some more generators. It says even more in ability. I'll buy them all just so I have them all, but don't think we'll use those. Now let's go put that new body part. That was good. Wait, does is the generator as good? Generator's even better. Excellent. these two things real quick. I can just look at it. The top one is the near one. Which does indeed allow slightly more heavier stuff. Okie dokie. new stuff I bought in here. Just so it doesn't say it's new, so I don't get confused later. Okay, there's still something new I didn't look at in here. Just go through the weapons. Speaking of weapons. Though I'm probably going to stick with the, you know, the, the lasers, because they're amazing. I want to try out the, the linear rifle. So if you remember, that was the weapon I was- the type of weapon I was using at the beginning. And this is the new form of that. So it also might be really good. So let's go test against the usual tester.
they seem okay, but I live for lasers nowadays. Lasers back on. That will be the new form of the tank. The laser tank. It'll allow me to carry a little more, but I don't think it'll change this much, so I'm going to leave that as is. But the fast tank. Let's see if any new parts are good for this. That's right, I bought some sword stuff as well. that the same because I really like the sword. Can I have this laser rifle? It seems I can with no issue. Fast tank can really just carry everything. Well, let's go to the parts shop. Which apparently has something new in it somehow. I thought I already looked through all this. Anyway. Okay, this diffuser. Oh my goodness, this is a bigger laser cannon. Large vase. No, it's a laser shotgun. Which is pretty cool. Pulls shield launcher, deploys a shield. Got another missile launcher. Six. A 10 cell missile launcher, so even bigger than the other missiles. Some of those. To fire more homing missiles, more plasma. A laser turret. It launches a little turret that hovers in place, provides supporting laser fire. Fascinating. The spread bazooka. Laser shotgun again. It's the ten cell. Gotta buy that. For mass on explosives. Now, are any of these lighter than what we have here? None of the heads are better than what we have. None of the bodies are better than what we have for the weight. I mean, arms, yes, but I like. Accuracy of the ones we have. Legs are fine as are. Okay. <clears throat> now, can this thing support the weight of mega missile launchers as well? Well, these ones aren't vertical. I like vertical, so I guess we'll keep the ovals. Never mind all that. Okay. Let me just try this one as well. Just try this one in a test real quick to make sure I like this new laser, but I think it'll do fine. And then we're going to do some arena.
Yeah, new new laser seems adequate. Do do do. Just save this as the new form of the fast tank. These ones are basically just museum pieces at this point. Maybe I'll try to update them too. Get another mission where I really want to be able to hover. Then four legs could be useful. And if one works all out speed is where it's at, then even the fast tank is a fast maybe. There's still new parts in here somewhere. Oh, it's probably just the missile launcher. Is it good now? Yes. Okay, now let's do the arena. The G2 Nile. Deputy Commander of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group AC Squad. Formerly the commander of the Balaam Security Force, the paramilitary police organization that preceded the formation of the Red Guns. Nile distinguished. Niall distinguished himself with an exceptionally high arrest rate. But in those days, the only man who never managed to put in handcuffs was Michigan, then the commander of the rival Furlong Armed Fleet. Having failed to arrest the man, he instead settled for a friendly drink with his old nemesis. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 7. You have now reached rank A. Subject AC, deep down. Call sign, gun 2 9. This emblem has whales on it. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Chips deep down. Now I can have the whales. Mwahaha. -ha. Next arena. V2 Snail. Deputy Commander of the Vespers, the Ocarus Group's Augmented Human Squad. After receiving Generation 8 augmentation surgery, Snail continued to receive follow up treatments as new technologies entered the mainstream so as to make their merits his own. Many augmented humans have died in order to assure the safety of its repeated adjustments. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, Number 6, Rank A. Subject AC, open faith. Call sign, V2 Snail. Commencing evaluation. See, so you have the weapon that I was using against the worm. Main system, activating combat mode. Looked like it.
very close and hectic. I have one HP remaining. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. I think five. Get more of his tea chips. Get open faith. And his emblem with faces. Next arena. Uh, Chartro, Chartro, however that's pronounced. An independent mercenary who arrived on Ubicon around the time that the Coral Response was rediscovered. Held to be a member of Branch, a hacktivist collective active in the Rubicon region, Chartro is said to have dealt a critical blow to the closure system during the plot to attack Station 31. Branch is made up of a rotating group of four people and Chartreau is believed to be the second oldest of the current roster. Okie dokie. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number five, rank A. Okay, what, what is that like? Subject AC, Umber Ox. Call sign, Chartreuse. See, so like a race car? What is that? Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. seems to be some sort of long tank. What an interesting design. We got four more of these chips. We got Umber Ox. And the emblem card. I guess that's the Umber Ox. Perhaps. Or it's a Chartreau. Chartreau. Okay, Thumb Dalmai. Father of the Rubicon Liberation Front, veteran military commander, and founder of the School of Coral Mysticism. As a young man, Damayan was once a dozer vagrant, to the fires of Ibis burned the star system. In the fire's aftermath, he developed, he developed an ardent belief in symbiosis with the Coral. This belief formed the founding ideals of the Rubicon Liberation Front, ideals that, that have made martyrs of countless Coral warriors. Then there's three more after A rank. Three. The Rubicon Liberation Front guys usually aren't that strong. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program Number Four, Rank A. Final evaluation. But we shall see if this one's different. Subject AC, a streak. Call sign, Thumb Dolmayan. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat. Whoa.
destroyed. This concludes A rank evaluation. Only the best of the best remain. He was so tough. For those tea chips, ass hug, <laughs> and the up. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank A. It is a great honor to witness your ongoing evolution as a mercenary. All Might exists for all mercenaries. Okie dokie. Okay, let's assign all of our points and stuff now. Do like melee one. You know what? Let's just max melee one. And then more energy weapons. So these are better as well. Explosives I should probably do as well, so the missiles are better. All that out of the way. Next mission is underground exploration, death one. Penetrate the subterranean facility and destroy the Nepenthes energy weapon platform. Nepenthes, Nepenthes. That's what we'll be doing next time. I'm gonna call the video here. I don't want to beat the game too fast. So I think every chapter, the it shows the mech from. A different angle. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, giving it a like is appreciated. As is subscribing so you can see the rest when they come out. So clearly continuing this. Leaving a comment about parts that interest you is also very appreciated. As is sharing this video with people you think would be, you know, a fan. And... Most importantly of all, though, have a nice day. Bye.